head coach John Gruden said he played his best football game last week against the Broncos linebacker Nicholas Morrow. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Do you agree with coach that last week was your best overall performance? Uh, yeah, I think wire to wire um, from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. I thought I played a pretty sound game. So yeah, I'd agree with him. Well, it seems like the energy and the confidence permeating throughout the defense on Sunday. What's been the difference, in your opinion, with these past few weeks from a defensive standpoint? I think guys are getting comfortable with each other, so mm -hmm. our chemistry is better. Um, we understand each other a little bit better. Um, and then we changed some things defensively, schematically, to kind of help with um, you know, not having OTAs. Um, so I think that's helped a lot, but a lot, of, a lot of it has to do with just guys liking each other and wanting to play for each other. And having fun. It seems like everybody there in the building is having fun. Absolutely. Plus, also tip your hat to what the defense had to deal with in the beginning of the season. You guys were tested early and often for a young team. You guys were playing the Bucks, the Saints, the Chiefs, the Bills. So certainly you guys had a challenge in the first half of the season. Now, when you get ready for teams, do you guys assign certain men to emulate the other team's offensive players? For example, can Darren Waller sort of give you that Travis Kelsey vibe or maybe use Henry Ruggs' skill set to emulate what Tyreek Hill might bring? Uh, yeah, we use certain guys. I mean, we don't use those guys, obviously, because they're starting and they have a lot of snaps during the week. So mm -hmm. we'll use a guy like if we want to emulate Tyreek Hill or we use uh, Rico Gafford. Um, as far as Kelsey goes, it just depends on the kind of tight ends we have. Sometimes we use Derek Carrier. Um, so, yeah, depending on who we, who we play and, and, and the personnel that we have, we, we try to use the guys that we have on the roster to uh, hmm. emulate them, yeah. Interesting. Well, other teams have their Raider week. Does a Chiefs week feel different than others? Because everyone says this is just like every other game. But, Nicholas, is it really? Come on. Yeah, I mean, I, I, think, I think it is a little different when you play the Chiefs. Um, I think it's even more when you play them at their house. But, yeah, it's definitely different when you play the Chiefs. It's a rivalry that's been going on for years, and I think guys get up for this game for sure. Well, the Chiefs have only lost one game this season, handed to them courtesy of the Silver and Black. What do you believe is the best way to beat a guy that can make every single throw in Patrick Mahomes? Uh, all 11. You know, we, we got we to gotta rush him, and then we have to, when he breaks the pocket, uh, we got to plaster. And so it takes, it takes all 11 on the field to, to compete against this guy for sure. All right. Well, we're going to play a little game. It's called Get to Know Nicholas Morrow. <laughs> so what is your game day routine? Like in the morning, do you have a routine? Do you change it? Does it always stay the same? What is the game day routine from first moment you wake up? Uh, yeah, I usually listen to uh, a little bit of gospel. So I listen to either Jonathan Nelson or Kurt Franklin, depending on how I'm feeling, or uh, Ty Tribbett. just depends. And we have a, like a, a game day breakfast that we rock on with, or nah, no. you know, you, you know, weight games are kind of different when you play weight games. They have different foods, so gotcha. not, not really a, gotcha. a game meal. Well, my routine on Thanksgiving is eat a lot, <laughs> uh, watch football, and then fall asleep embarrassingly early. Uh, with it being Thanksgiving next week, what does a Nicholas Morrow Thanksgiving plate usually look like? Uh, I haven't man. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's say I, I always eat yams. Yeah, it's my favorite. Uh, sweet corn, collard greens. I'm not a huge dressing guy. No. Um, turkey, not a huge ham guy. No. Uh, black eyed peas sometimes. Yeah. Mm. That's about me. Yeah. What about cranberries? No? Yes? A little bit. A little bit. A little okay. bit of cranberries. So just a dash. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Well, uh, since we've had to stay at home more than we are used to lately, um, are there shows that you've been getting into? Uh, I got, I've been watching the Power Book, uh, the mm. new one, the Ghost, the Power Book. Two ghosts, something like that. Okay. I watched that a little bit. Um, and Designated Survivor, I've been watching those too. Nice. Okay. I have not seen either of them, but yeah, you recommend. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, last but certainly not least, what is your cheat meal? I feel like that really defines a person. Your cheat meal would be what? Barbecue ribs. Barbecue ribs. Yep. Okay. St. Louis style. St. Louis style barbecue ribs. That's All right. Yep. Uh, well, speaking of barbecue, good luck with the Kansas City Chiefs this week. And Nicholas Morrow, we uh, always appreciate having you and good luck on Sunday. All right. Thanks for having me.